Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so I decided to make this video for uh, a couple of reasons, ac actually. Um, for the first reason, I'm able to mimic the problem that, that users are having, whether they're, they're getting into the game, they're getting calibrated properly, or, or so they think, you know, because they're, they're running through the, the process properly, they're, they're holding the gun perfectly still, they're pointing at the center of the screen, yet their character is spinning out of control. Um, I think I finally found the solution and the answer to why this is happening and a little bit of, uh, I, I guess, uh, um, give you a little bit of insight as to um, what's going on. Now, if you notice, I have the, uh, the stock of my gun taken off, but I have this taken off because I wanted to show you all a, a really cool feature on this thing. Now, if you notice, there's this little black box there. Now, inside of this black box, there's actually a mechanism that that drives the, uh, I guess, sort of a recoil action, if you will, on the end here. So you, you plug it up to the wall, and, and then you'll get a, uh, a pretty firm recoil, you know, almost as strong as a 22. So uh, let, let's go ahead and get this snapped into place. And I'll get the gun powered on. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you um, why the gun will spin. Now, assuming you get the gun turned on, you know, you, you get your, your Cronus Max Plus authorized, you, you get your receiver plugged in, the first thing you're going to do is turn on the gun so you can navigate through the menus and get into game, correct? I mean, um, that's, that's what I did tonight, just because, you know, I, I uh, g generally what I'll do is I'll get all the way into game, I'll, I'll pause the game, and then I'll switch over to my Delta. T tonight I ran the entire process just by, by throwing the... Uh, the, the Delta in right away as soon as I got done authorizing and, and shouted at the console to, uh, to get it to go into the game through the Kinect camera and such. But, um, but anyways, long story short, um, you get the gun turned on so you can navigate through the menus. As you can see, everything's working. So let's go ahead and start the Zombies game. And what I think's going on here is whenever you turn it on, if you do not manually calibrate the gun after X amount of time, the gun will run sort of in automatic calibration, if you will. So, um, what, what, what I think you need to do is just basically get the gun calibrated as soon as you power it on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fade over to the gameplay now, um, you know, as, as soon as you jump into the game, and you'll, you should notice that my character is spinning out of control. So, let's go ahead and get you all faded over. All right, so now that we're in the game, if you notice, I'm uh, holding the gun up. Let's go ahead and get calibrated. But now I'm pointing at center, and I'm spinning everywhere. Now, what had happened is I think I waited too long after powering on the gun to, to do the calibration and that it ran some sort of um, automatic calibration, if you will. So the solution to this is turn it off, turn it back on, and as soon as you get it turned on, calibrate it to the center of your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to restart the level. Tell it yes. And now I'm going to power it off. You bear them off. Get it off right. I'm going to power it on, I'm going to aim down the sight, I'm going to calibrate, Are you the one I saw in, oh, felt the rumble, dream? and if you notice, I'm no longer spinning. So uh, I really hope that this was a quick fix for, the, uh, for you guys. Now I'm actually in the process of working on a little GPC script for this because I know that the in-game manual recommends that y'all play on the lowest sensitivities as, as possible. Um, but what I found to my personal experience is when playing in the joystick mode on a low sensitivity, uh, you're just not able to look around quite fast enough. So, again, since you're using the Cronus Max Plus, one of the many, many benefits that you have to this, you know, you have your button remapping, your, your controller mods, your macros, all that other good stuff. Um, you have the ability to change your, your controller dead zone settings for your for your thumbsticks. Um, so I'm I'm playing with with a few different dead zone settings to to get the thumbstick to act exactly how I want it to. So in this case, you know the thumbstick is actually how we're moving the gun around. So I'm 
if you notice, I'm playing on a uh, on on w w with a 14 sensitivity, which is completely maxed in the game. But I'm going to do a little bit of gameplay for you and show you how steady and accurate um, I, I'm actually able to play with this thing. Now, um, you know, a, a, another big issue that, that a lot of people um, don't like about the gun is, is they complain about it, you know, uh, not being responsive enough or being too responsive and, and jerking them everywhere. Again, that's just a matter of, of fine-tuning your settings and, and getting everything running the way that, that you personally want them to run. I mean, the way that this feels and, and how I like it, you, you may not like these settings and you may, you know, decide to play it a, a whole different way. So, uh, again, let's go ahead and get back in the game. And, uh, I'll go ahead and do a little bit of zombie killing for you guys. What's wrong with your face? That's, uh... Oh, that's not the micro-calibration button. Is nowhere safe. I need to get out of here. Alright. The fetid stench of death hangs heavy in my nostrils. They are coming. See, if you notice, I'm able to sit here and move the gun ever so slightly if I want. But if I need to respond real quick, I'm able to get real, real fast movement. But it, it's not so fast that I'm that I'm spinning out of control. Time waits for no man, oh. and this man has no time to wait. to a position of relative advantage. Round three, and I, uh, I'm not quite sure what the objectives are on on this version of the zombies mode. I mean, throughout the series, they've gotten pretty, uh, pretty ridiculous with all the amount of stuff that you have to do in these. I mean, that's that's great if that's what you're into, but I mean, I really just like the uh, the arcade feeling of uh, of just sort of slaughtering hey, endless hey, waves. Hey, you out there! Whoever was talking people. to us a minute ago, <laughs> can you at least tell us what? going on a concussive that blast of nice. some kind it appears to have incapacitated our adversaries I don't know if you'll hear That's that recoil going off or not we need all the positives we can get Let's see if I can uh... you have a lot of your hands it cannot be cleansed your sins have allowed others their way into your world. Open sesame! What? No good. Oh, I don't have no money. The sacrifice will save their appetite. Like the cobbler's elves, my work is done until it's destroyed. Is he 
you get. as a club. Let's get out of here. Got a feeling I'm going to start getting a uh, little bit overwhelmed in that slot. Yeah, it looks like I need to get me another gun. I missed that point blank. That was terrible. Something today. No, I really don't think I'm going to survive much more after this round. I, uh, I kind of have a hard time with this little flying thing. I've got a shotgun. So let's see if I can. Uh, A few more shots, that's all I've got. Oh hell, that thing's behind me, ain't it? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, he died. We may yet snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Why did you kill? It was an accident. Let's draw a veil over the matter. Yeah, um, I'm sure as you can see by me walking around and killing zombies that the gun not only works, but if calibrated properly, and before the, um, I guess, automatic calibration, if you will, because uh, since I'm not too familiar with all of the, uh, the insides and the more technical aspect of, of how the Delta Six works, I, I can't really, you know, explain it to you from, from their end. But uh, from a user aspect, um, what I think is going on is that if you power it on, if, you, if the gun itself does not see a manual calibration in X amount of time it'll go ahead and calibrate where it is which isn't going to be right so whenever you do go to calibrate in game you're not going to be spinning out of control because the sensor is confused so to prevent this what you're going to want to do is power the gun on as soon as you can you're going to want to get it calibrated so since this is uh, I guess a little bit of a, uh, a pain in the ass if you will to do to get it calibrated perfectly as you won't have a gun because you're in the, uh, the controller menu just get the gun powered on navigate to where you're in game for the first time and then power the gun off power the gun back on get it calibrated and centered where you want it and you'll be good to go as you were able to see as I was killing some zombies 